love is something that you do. You know, we're here in this village right now and we're feeding children who are hungry, but all over the country of Haiti right now, from the children way far up in the mountains in a place called Paypri, to a place called Nangad, to another place that we've been to called Guala Boa, where there's hungry children, no food, don't know what they're going to do, all the way to the garbage dumps of Tutie. You know, right now in Tutie, it's starting to rain. That means in those little tiny tents, the, the mud and the water is pouring in from all sides. Everything is soaking wet and damp. Their clothes are soaking wet. Their shoes and their feet, everything is full of mud. The flies are coming in. There's pigs and hogs all around and mosquitoes are coming in. And the worst thing about all this incredible, horrible, horrible, hellish place to live is that they have to go to bed every night with no food in their stomach. Listen, people who are in prison right now in the United States who've committed rape on children, who've killed little children, and they've been put in jail, they get three meals a day. They have a better life than these children do in 2TA. It, it breaks my heart. I can't even think about it sometimes at night. And I think, God, help us to do more. But you know what? Even if we can't do more, let's do what we can do. And let's do it today to help these children in Tutier out here and all over Nanga and all of the parts of Haiti that we've been talking about. Please help us. Thank you. Food is an emergency. Food's a crisis in Haiti. Listen, there's a man, we, earlier we passed out many boxes of food. Many, 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 which represented actually several thousand meals. This so one man came, he was late, he had eight children, they were slowing him down. He got here, there was no food left. When he found out there was no food left, he sells little charcoal, little pieces of burnt wood for a living. He cried like a baby. It tore our hearts out because he was too late for the food. But we're gonna find a box somewhere and send it up. I tell you what, we're gonna get it back up here. And every month, we hope we can continue this. We have help. And he'll have his food every month. Bowling like a baby with eight children, no food. It's a crisis here in Haiti. God bless you for being part us working together. And the gens, pour nous là, les m'a dit, pour nous amener huit petites là, parce que nous t'es à maman, maman a vu nous vivre, on est décédé. Tout bon c'est, pas après finir, pour nous dire, à vivre à petit là. Voilà, patron. Si vous avez ça, vous pouvez dire que vous avez fait ça. Vous pouvez dire que vous avez fait ça. Nous espérons que nous pouvons continuer ça. Nous avons de l'aide. Et il a de la nourriture chaque mois. Dieu vous bénisse pour être partie. Nous travaillons ensemble. Chaque jour, dans le pays de Haïti, les enfants sont hungry et starving, ce qui, dans beaucoup de cas, conduit à la mort. These children have no strength to play and no hope of a better future. You can help them change their situation now by providing food, because food brings hope. Will you get involved today? Your gift of $16 will provide 432 meals consisting of well-balanced, nutritionally rich, great tasting food. Your gift of $48 will provide 1,296 meals. And your gift of $120 will provide 3,240 meals of great tasting food. Please consider Haiti's hungry children today by calling the number on your screen, visiting our website, or sending in your gift. We cannot do everything, but together we can do something. On behalf of the hungry children of Haiti, thank you, and may God richly bless you. I'm 
Janice Pyle, and I'm from Illinois. This is my first trip to Haiti. I'd been watching Love a Child on TV for several years, and the only regret that I have is that I didn't come sooner. I, I should have been here years ago. Uh, I've never seen such a need. Uh, the poverty level is just unbelievable. Uh, these people really need some help. I've been handing out glasses, and um, I have gave out hundreds of glasses, and the people, I'm sure that they have never owned a pair of glasses, and you can tell when they put the glasses on, they have such joy because they can see. I have been watching I Love a Child on TV for several years, and it moved my heart and I had to come and see for myself what this country was like. And it's hard to believe that people live like this, but they're so thankful for everything that they get. The people start coming in the middle of the night. You can hear them in the dark and children crying. And there are people everywhere. They're coming down the mountains still, and the church is full. There's people everywhere you look, and they all need help. I'm just glad that I'm here to be able to do that. Wow, this little baby is three months old. Her mom is 18. She's got infected breasts. She can't breastfeed this baby. This baby has got horrible, horrible kwashiorkor malnutrition, just horrible. That baby's in bad condition. She's three months old and she's got severe kwashiorkor malnutrition because it, that comes from not, not just from not getting any food, but from getting the wrong kind of food. Like if you fed the baby nothing but potatoes or nothing but rice or nothing but flour and water, uh, the baby would be eating, but he, would, he or she would get kwashiorkor malnutrition, and so that's what happened. She doesn't have anything to feed her because she can't breastfeed, so she's giving her tea with sugar in it. That's it, that's all she's got. This is the second baby with severe kwashiorkor malnutrition, and she comes, you know, wow, it's gonna take a long time for this little baby to get back on her feet, so her mom's gonna have to bring her down to us, to our, our clinic, and she's gonna to have to have good food to go back home with, and she'll be weighed and measured, and it's going to be a long road for this little girl, but without help, she will die. She will die. Anytime we see the poor, we're always thinking, God, what do you want us to do? Whatever we do, it's really you are doing it. And you say, I got to be part of that. Nothing could happen here unless it starts to happen there. Without you, we are nothing. Partners like you make it happen. And we thank God for you every day. You should support Love a Child because they do so much with what seems like so little. I don't get regular income. I'm an independent contractor. I don't know what I'm gonna make in January. And there have been times that I've given them $16 a month and they never, ever fail to send a thank you letter, ever. It breaks our hearts when we hear about kids that are eating dirt 
rocks. And, and rocks. Just look at one child in their life and go to their website and look at one story and I challenge you to not be changed when you read just one story of one child. Please consider Haiti's hungry children today by calling the number on your screen, visiting our website, or sending in your gift. We cannot do everything, but together we can do something. On behalf of the hungry children of Haiti, thank you, and may God richly bless you. If this program has been a blessing to you, and you would like to help the people of Haiti through the ministry of Love a Child, Bobby and Sherry would like to give you a copy of both of their books. Love is Something You Do and the latest release, Faith, Hope, and Love, A 90-Day Walk with God. Simply call the number on your screen, give your gift, and request the books. Withhold not good from them to whom it is due, when it is in the power of thy hand to do it. Say not unto thy neighbor, Go and come again, and tomorrow I will give thee when thou hast it by thee. There's a lot of people watching right now, you're very poor. And there's some of you watching that's very rich. Some of you verily make a living. But it's in the, if it's in the power of your hand to help the poor, do it, withhold not from them. When somebody comes your way, don't say, well, I, I love you, I'm praying for you. Yeah. <laughs> How many times you've heard that? I'm praying for you. Come back another time, come back tomorrow. That's just an excuse. Yeah. In other words, you're saying, get out of here. Don't say, I'm praying for you. Come back tomorrow. If somebody's here, it's in the power of your hand. Don't withhold from them. Because when you bless them, God will bless you. That's the word. Proverbs, the third chapter, the 27th verse. Let God use you today. All the way here from Sauvon Pete, Haiti, in the middle of nowhere. God bless you. We just discovered a family, a grandma, and little little children who were so naked and covered with dirt in a in a village called Wa Latboa. Grandma has to go out and pick up huge stones and gather rocks and try to put them in the trucks that come by to buy rocks in order to get food for these little grandbabies. She's got five grandchildren. She's an elderly woman. No mother, no father. A grandma feeding five children. It is a horrible, horrible situation. But there's things like that going all over Haiti right now. We're standing in the rain. We're feeding these people. We need your help. Please don't turn the TV off and go back to what you're doing. Pick up the phone, make a phone call. Go to the internet. Please contact us or sit down and write us a note and say, you know what, I've got to do something. And when you do something, God will do something greater. Thank you so much. stress the importance of this food. In Haiti, because the devaluation of the Haitian dollar against the American dollar, which makes the price of everything outrageous in Haiti, and there's diets, beans and rice, really. 
that's your stable diet in Haiti. And nobody, the rice is so high now, the beans, I don't know how anybody, well, very few can afford to buy it. And I'm telling you, starvation is, is terrible here. Please help. This is a urgent, urgent need. Should I live here? Not something we just thought about or think. We live here with the people of Haiti. Here's how you can help. First of all, $16 will supply 432 meals. For $16, forget the $48, you can supply 1,296 meals. And then for a gift of $120, God lays up that man upon your heart. For a gift of $120, you can supply 3,240 meals. The biggest thing in our heart is supplying meals to people. We do two things. Last year, we supplied 25 plus million meals to the people. Then we also, after that, we try to get them into sustainability, how to make a living how to make some money, how to support themselves. But we gotta get them from point A to point B, which is development. So please call the number on the screen. God bless you. Be blessed today. Remember those who have very, very little, and God will bless you, according to Psalms 41, verse one, two, and three. God bless you. I think it's because I trust Bobby and Sherry. Here I know the kids get what you donate, they get. All I know is I have to support. I have to give, and I have to keep giving, and I have to keep giving. And I will give as I am increased to give, and I'm gonna give more. We're told to uh, love our neighbor as ourselves. This fulfills that. You know, the Bible says that Jesus was moved with compassion. And as I looked out over the crowd of these people, really, I was moved with compassion. There are so many stories here, like the woman by the name of Janita. She's a young woman, two children. She was in the hands of an abusive, a very abusive man. And she thought at that time, if I could just get away from him, because even a miserable life is better than a beautiful funeral. That's what they say in Haiti when they have so many problems. As you watch these programs and you see the faces of these children and you see the faces of these moms and hear their stories, I want your heart to be moved with compassion like Jesus' heart. I'm just an eyewitness to say that Love a Child truly goes to the regions beyond. I call it the forgotten zones, the forgotten zones and the forgotten people. And actually it amazes me that Bobby and Cherry find these people, that they find these villages, they find and then, and then there'll be a central place, but then people come from even out of the mountains and other unknown areas. And they hear that help is here. And Bobby and Sherry have always been dedicated to uh, doing what they can to show the love of God. And then in showing the love of God, tell them that God loves them. And it works. Mom, mom, Literally thousands and thousands of people have benefited from the medical clinics, from the feeding programs. It amazes me that they will get prayer and they will get care and they will get food. They will get medicines to take home. Uh, they will be literally touched hands on and these people converge. They come from all, not just the United States, they come from Canada and other parts of the world to come and have the privilege. Of spending a few minutes doing what Bobby and Sherry do every day. 
what this is what they do every day. So people like me come and then we get overwhelmed with emotion because not only is the need so great, but the answer's so great. And it's amazing how God uses the simple, simple things with prayer, coupled with prayer to make miracles take place. And behind these miracles are the people who help fund Love a Child. And uh, it's just a huge endeavor. It's, it's a miracle. Every day is a miracle. These are precious people. And there was a very wise man who once said, there's no one least in the kingdom, no one. So Jesus brings his value and brings value. And what Love a Child is doing is bringing value to every soul. And so we thank you for what you do for Love a Child by making it possible. And if you get to come, I hope you get to come. God bless you. Bonjour, Benny. Okay. Benny Swala to now. Amen. Well, God bless you. Thank you very much. Nelson Zone Walubo Nuskali Felantia Sylvita Jacqueline Nous nous pas vivre Il va gagner de l'eau ici là Leur fouiller leur fouiller pour prendre de l'eau pas joindre de l'eau On compte faire ménage On compte faire manger pour balé kala manger kabana I'm thinking if somebody dropped me off in the middle of nowhere, right here, I don't know how I would survive. And you know, I've looked at so many children right here, they have malnutrition, a lot of them had skin sores, they're just not in bad condition, like this little boy right here. I just don't know how they survive. It's just day by day. And honestly, we never knew about this village. We never knew about this village until somebody told us that the place we were in, in Pei Peri, there was two villages higher than Pei Peri, and that village is called Gobert. I said, wow, we gotta go and see this village. Nobody ever goes there. People don't even know they're here. They don't know they exist, but you know what? God knows they're here. And just like this woman with this little baby, God knows that they're here, and God knows that you're there, and he has a plan to use your life. He has a plan to use your life to help the poor. You weren't just born for anything. God has a purpose for you. Please help today. Pray for the people and give whatever the Lord lays on your heart. Because and when we put everything together, all of our hands together, we can do a lot. Thank you. And God bless you. God bless you. Please remember, you can give today. This is an emergency. Food is an emergency crisis here in Haiti. I can't say enough about that. Food is an emergency crisis here in Haiti. Please, $16 will supply 432 meals. A gift of $48 will supply 1,296 meals. A gift of $120 will supply 3,240 meals. For a gift of $500 will supply 13,500 meals. A gift of $1,000 will supply 27,000 meals. Please, please help. This is an emergency. And for a gift of $10,000, we'll supply an entire 40-foot container of food, 272,000 meals. The number's on the screen. You can call toll-free. It's on here, the program. It's toll-free. You can give on your credit card. It is very secure. 
or you go when this program's over and give online. Just open up the computer, give online the figures I just mentioned you, or the widow's might. Every penny counts. Or you may write the address on the screen and mail your check in. There's three ways you can give. Or you may want to say, Bobby, Sherry, I want to give automatic giving. I want to sign up. Just ask our people. They will tell you how. Just how I want to give so much a month, automatic giving, so I don't, I don't have to think about it for a year or whatever, how long you want to do it. And they'll be taking on your credit card automatically every month without you even having to think about it or forgetting about it. Please, it's an emergency. Please help, especially for the children. This rice cooks up the big old pot of rice. It's got rice, it's got the beans, it's got, I mean, it's got the, 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 the carrots, the peas, the onions, all kind of other minerals and nutrients and vitamins in there. And it's delicious. Very, 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 it's not a soup. It's a very good nourishing hot meal when they cook it in the pots and the Haitians love it. It's just like rice aroni, but it's actually better for you. So please call. Please write, please give online. I want to say for everyone who gives an offering, whatever God lays upon your heart, sure now I want to send you back a gift. Two books that we have, you may have one or you may have both of them. Give them to a friend. I want to give you our book, Love is Something You Do. We have thousands of have gone out. I want to send you our latest devotional book that just came out just recently on faith, hope, and love a 90-day walk with God. It's a color picture of Haiti. Every, every second page, every other page, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful picture of a Haitian child or the mountains of Haiti. It's a devotional. People loves it. Please, want to give you this as a gift back to you for your giving to the Haitian people. We want to give back to you and bless you. God bless you. For your free copy of Bobby and Sherry Burnett's new devotional book, Faith, Hope, and Love, A 90-Day Walk with God, simply give your gift of any amount and request the book. Call the number on your screen, write to the address, or go to the website and give your gift now. Remember, to receive your free copy of Bobby and Sherry's new book, simply give your gift of any amount and request the book.